Okay, so now today we'll try to understand some concepts of exponential distribution and how to solve the examples on this exponential distribution. The cumulative distribution function of exponential distribution is given by probability of x less than or equal to x is equal to integration of 0 to x fx dx where fx is the probability distribution function and it is given by lambda into e raised to minus lambda x. Now we can substitute this value of function over here in the integration. So on substituting this value, what we will have over here is that value of fx is lambda e raised to minus lambda x. Lambda is a constant, it is the parameter of the exponential distribution, you can take it outside and integration of e raised to minus lambda x is e raised to minus lambda x divided by minus lambda where this minus lambda is nothing but coefficient of x and the limits are from 0 to x because our probability is x less than or equal to x. Now we can cancel out this lambda so that we will be having minus term minus sign will be there e raised to minus lambda x and the limits are from 0 to x. In place of x substitute the upper limit that is x itself minus in place of x substitute the lower limit that is 0. So ultimately what we are having is this particular term. So it is in place of x substitute the x so it is e raised to minus lambda x minus in place of x substitute 0. So e raised to minus 0 is 1. So take this minus sign inside so that it will be 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. Now we can find out the value of x greater than x. So as the x is greater than x, the limits will be from now in this particular case will be from x to infinity. So again the integration is same, only limits are different. So e raised to minus lambda x will have integration of e raised to minus lambda x divided by minus lambda. This lambda already we have taken outside. So this lambda and lambda will get cancelled out. So that we are having in place of x now we can substitute the upper limit that is infinity. So here it is substituted minus in place of x it will be x again. So this is e raised to minus lambda infinity minus e raised to minus lambda x. So infinity into anything that is infinity itself this term will be as it is. e raised to minus infinity is nothing but 1 upon e raised to infinity. e raised to infinity is infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0. So this minus minus will become plus so it is only e raised to minus lambda x. So probability of x greater than x is e raised to minus lambda x and the cumulative distribution function that we have already seen is probability of x less than or equal to x is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. Now using this concept we can first solve the examples by our regular method that is using these formulas and then we will see how to solve this by using the Microsoft Excel. So let us consider one example in which we have to find out. Suppose the time between the calls to a plumbing supply business is exponentially distributed and the mean time is 15 minutes. Mean time between the calls is 15 minutes. We have to find out what is the probability that no call is received within 30 minutes of time interval. Then at least one call is there within a 10 minute time interval and what is the probability that the first call arrives within 5 and 10 minutes after the opening and finally we have to find out determine the length of the interval of the time such that the probability of at least one call in the given interval is 0 0.9 so it is all these cases are typical cases so first we will solve this by using our regular method and then we will see how we can solve it easily by using Microsoft Excel. So let x is equal to time until the first call. The expectation or mean is given as 15 minutes as you can see over here. Lambda is the parameter of the exponential distribution and it is given by 1 upon mean. So it is 1 upon 15 
so many calls per minute. The first thing that we have to find out is probability of x greater than 30, that is this case. In the second case, probability of at least 1 in the given time interval of 10 minutes. So at least 1 means 1 minus probability of 0 calls in 10 minutes. In other words, it is p minus 1 minus p probability of x greater than 10 that we have to find out. Then what is the probability that the first call arrives between 5 and 10 minutes after opening? That is the next thing that we have to calculate. And we have to find out in the last case if probability of x less than or equal to x is 0 0.9 or cumulative distribution function is 0 0.9 then what must be that value of x. So let us see these cases one by one. So first we will start with probability of x greater than 30. So probability of x greater than x is given by e raised to minus lambda x. So in place of x now we can substitute 30. In place of lambda we can have the value of 1 upon 15. So in place of lambda it is 1 upon 15. In place of x it is 30. So that it is e raised to minus 2. And if we solve this it is 0 0.1353. Second case is probability of at least one call. That is 1 minus probability of 0 calls in 10 minutes. So again 1 minus p probability of x greater than 10. We know that probability of x greater than x is given by e raised to minus lambda x. Again substitute the value of lambda. Lambda is 1 upon 15 and x is 10 in this case. So again if we solve this we will get 0 0.4865 as the answer. Now in the third case it is given that we have to find out probability of 5 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10. So integration will be from 5 to 10 fx dx. Substitute the value of fx that is nothing but the probability density function and that is nothing but lambda e raised to minus lambda x. Lambda you can take it outside and integration of e raised to minus lambda x is e raised to minus lambda x divided by minus lambda where this minus lambda is the coefficient of x. Cancel out this lambda so that it will be minus sign e raised to minus lambda x from 5 to 10. In place of x substitute 10 and in place of x substitute 5 over here. So that we will have and again substitute the value of lambda also. Take this minus sign inside so that this will be e raised to minus lambda 5 minus e raised to minus lambda into 10. So that minus sign we have taken inside and therefore now substituting the value of lambda, lambda is what? It is 1 upon 15 into 5 and again lambda is 1 upon 15 into 10. So if we solve this equation, then it is having the value of 0 0.2031. Finally, we have to find out the value of x such that probability of x less than or equal to x, that is cumulative distribution function is 0 0.9. So let us see that particular case. So now it is the typical case. So here we are having the probability of x less than or equal to x is given by as we have already derived it is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. So this is 0 0.9 is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x or we can say that e raised to minus lambda x will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.9 or e raised to minus lambda x is equal to 0 0.1. Now taking log to the base e on both the sides. So log e raised to minus lambda x is equal to log of 0 0.1. Now we know that log m raised to n is nothing but n log m. So this is n log m is equal to right hand side will be as it is. So log e to the base e is 1 and therefore minus lambda x into 1 is equal to log of 0.1 or we can say that x is equal to log of 0.1 divided by minus lambda. If we solve this then you will get the answer of x that is 34.54 minute. So in this way we can calculate all these values by our regular methods. Now we will see the same problem how it can be solved by using Microsoft Excel. Here we will go to the functions. 
and then we'll search for exponential distribution so now in the first case if you remember the value of x is 30 the value of lambda is 1 upon 15 so that value also we can substitute over here so 1 divided by 15 so that value will be around 0 0.066 and put this cumulative true so that you will get this value as 0 0.86 Four six six four seven one seven. Now, if we subtract this value, now if we subtract this value from one, then we will get our first answer. Now, in the second case, we will substitute the value of x is equal to ten, so that we will directly and cumulative distribution function is to be found out. So we will directly get the value. So this is our second case. The answer of our second case if you remember so this is 0 0.4865 now in the third case we have to find out probability of 5 less than x less than 10 now the value of 10 is already with us that is this particular value now value at x is equal to 10 that is 0 0.4865 now if you substitute x is equal to 5 then we will get 0 0.2834 now if we subtract both these values, the previous value and this value, then we will get the answer for our third case, that is 0 0.2031. Now in the last case, what we are having, the cumulative distribution function value is 0 0.9. Now suppose we assume the value of x, now if the value of x is 20, what is the value that we are getting for CDF or cumulative distribution, is, cumulative distribution function is 0 0.7364, but we want this value as 0 0.9. So we have to increase this value by trial and error method. So suppose I substitute this value as 30 now. Then we are now coming closer to 0 0.9. Still we will increase the value further over here. Suppose we take 31 and 32 then 33. Then it is coming closer to 0.9. Suppose we take 34 then it is 0.896 now we are coming very close to the value of 0 0.9 so we will now increase in a small increment of 34.5 it is 0 0.899 and if we consider the value as 34.54 then value is 0 0.9 so what we can say for cumulative distribution function of 0 0.9 the value of x must be 34.54 so this is a required answer.